is Amanda from The Fundamental Home. It is, you're watching this on Wednesday, but I am filming this on Tuesday. And it's totally thrown off because normally you would watch my grocery haul on Thursday, but of course Thursday is your Thanksgiving and I wanna make sure that on Thursday, uh, you don't wanna watch my grocery haul, you wanna eat and celebrate with your family. So uh, I went grocery shopping early this week to make sure I had everything that I need for my Thanksgiving which I am holding today. So as you're watching this on Wednesday, I am actually having Thanksgiving dinner with my family because my husband works in a grocery store. And at that store, uh, they are open for Black Friday. So he has to work on Thursday. Thursday night is their Black Friday sale. So we're doing it on Wednesday, but that's okay. It's okay, because we still get to celebrate as a family. It's a wonderful time. And while we're sitting here enjoying our meal, you guys can see the stuff that I bought. So I'm gonna take you over here and show you what we spent this week. And I really just got a little things here and there because we're so stocked up for the holiday. We actually have quite a bit, but I just went in because our policy is we shop every week no matter what, because we're always trying to stack up our deals and see what we can get. And there's a lot of great deals to be had right now, so we don't wanna not take advantage of those. So let me show you my totals. There's the whiteboard. My son's an artist and that is supposed to be him, that's Ricky, and his friend Marquise. That's what they do to my board. But anyway, here's the totals. We have Discount Grocery Store, I spent $18.32. Aldi, I spent $12.58. And Ingalls, I spent $11.18 for a total of $42.08. I am under budget. I'm telling you, I just, I actually got extra things this week just because I needed them and I thought, eh, and I'm nowhere near budget. So that's just where we are, guys. And I'm happy and thankful for Thanksgiving to be in a place where I'm not stressed about it. So it's just a blessing. But uh, I was able to pick up some great deals. So let me show you my receipts and then I'll show you what I got. Okay, guys, here are my receipts. And of course, at my discount grocery, there's $18.32. My Aldi, $12.58 and Ingalls, $11.18. And this is what I got with my $42.08. So I'm actually going to start backwards. We'll start with Ingalls because it was the last place I went. I actually picked these items up, both the Italian sausage and the garlic bread, specifically for a church event. My church is having on Tuesday, uh, the day that I'm filming this, but the day before you're watching it, we're having a uh, church meal. And we're supposed to be bringing things that are not Thanksgiving foods. So I'm making pasta fagioli. I'll link the recipe over at the top if you guys want to check that out. And I'm bringing garlic bread as a side dish and I'll have some kind of dessert that I bring with me. So I went ahead and picked these up just for that, just to have something different and special. That's all I got at Ingles. This was $4.48 each, which you know is expensive for me for meat. Like I went crazy. But I wanted to get something that I knew the folks would enjoy at the church event. And I don't mind spending extra if we have it for um, a special occasion. It's within the budget, we're all happy. And the garlic bread was $1.99. So that was what we spent there. And $11, all this is going to the church meeting. Okay, but before we went to Ingalls, we went to Aldi. We went to Aldi, guys. First thing I got there is bottles of water. It was $1.89. For a pack of water now we do have water in the house from time to time because the boys like to have it for their lunches um, but we normally just drink cups of water in the house and that's cool but for our Thanksgiving uh, feast I wanted to make sure that I have as little to do as possible in terms of dishes so I got this and I'm going to be picking up paper plates with my personal item budget because I do not want to do any dishes as few dishes as possible let me rephrase that I'm still gonna have the pans and things but as few as possible so I will be getting paper plates, and that's how I'm going to do my Thanksgiving, guys. I do not have a big bunch of family coming over. Just going to be us and a couple friends, and that's good for me. So that's what we're doing. I also picked up this uh, gluten-free penne reggette. I'm going to use this for the pasta fagioli, also for the church event. And this was actually $1.69. I need some sour cream, and it was actually on sale, so I went ahead and picked two of those up for $0.89 cents each. And then there's my unsalted butter. This is a good time to stock up. It was $2.29 for a package of unsalted butter. I went ahead and grabbed a thing of cream cheese because we always need it. $0.79 cents was a pretty good sale and I was happy to get it. 
I got three packs of hamburger buns. You'll know why in just a second, but these were 83 cents each and they were actually all out of regular bread. Uh, I would have gotten a thing of regular bread for sure in addition to hamburger buns, but they were out so I didn't get it. But hey, look, I got this. This was a pretty neat deal. These are 10 cans of chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. Let me see if I can get this clearer. There you go. And these were actually on sale for 10 cents each. And I thought, I have a dollar for 10 jars of, of, of some kind of ingredient. That's a pretty good deal. So I'm going to try to find some recipes. If you have any recommendations on what I can use these to make, let me know in the comments. But I'm going to give these a try. I mean, 10 cents each, I got a dollar's worth. I was super happy to do that. So all of that is what I got at Aldi, and that was $12.58. And everything else came from my discount grocery. I was really pleased with the deals that I got there today. A lot of good deals on uh, produce. You can see all this right here. These peppers right here were three for a dollar. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice those up. And I did try to find the ones that are nice and firm. And I, I'm gonna go ahead and slice them up and freeze them because I'm just about out of peppers in the freezer. And if you don't know how I freeze my peppers, I'll link you up the top here somewhere. A video on how I do that. Uh, zucchini was 10 for a dollar, um, but I got so much cooking going on this week, I didn't think I'd use it all. So I only got five, so I got 50 cents worth of zucchini, and I'm gonna, I think, put some in some chili, and I might make some zucchini bread. Clementines were a dollar a bag. They were that last week, and we went through it like crazy, so I went ahead and got two bags this time, and uh, I think we're gonna just enjoy those as snacks and some different things this week uh, with the clementines. So anyway, a dollar a bag, you can't beat that great price. Stuffing. I am not a huge stuffing dressing fan. Uh, they were a dollar, but they were buy one, get one free. So I went ahead and grabbed two of them. And we have those for um, Thanksgiving because I didn't have any and now we do. So everybody will be happy. We have some. And I don't have to worry about making something huge that I'm not even going to eat. So <laughs> anyway, it's going to be there. Everybody's going to be happy. We're good. Uh, A1. Okay. My husband this week told me that he wanted A1 for Christmas. A1 for Christmas. I, I, He's crazy sometimes, what can I say? But I was like, if you want it that bad, just tell me that you want it and I'll make sure that you have it. And he was like, okay, well I want it. So here we go, he got A1 and it was $2.49, which I think is a little pricey, but if it makes the man happy, whatever, as long as we can afford it. So A1 for Rick. I got this delicious, Adele's breakfast sausage, maple and smoked bacon flavor, but it's actually uh, smoked chicken sausage. So really excited to have this uh, made with natural chicken, no MSG. So this is going to be good for us for our breakfast. And I might even make a frittata, who knows, but there it is. And then I went ahead and picked up these burgers. Now we actually got these burgers in one of our most recent hauls and there are six of them or one and a half pounds for $2.99. And so I got two boxes of them. I My husband loves Burger King, he loves a Whopper. And right now the Whoppers are on sale too for $6. Well, guess what? I got both of these boxes for $6. I got 12 burgers essentially, 12 quarter pound burgers for $6, the same as two Whoppers. I feel like that's an amazing deal. Can I just high five myself right there? Here's one hand, here's the other, and I'm high fiving. Because I'm an amazing wife to make sure that he has the burgers that he wants, yet at an affordable price. I'm super proud of myself. And this is why we got these buns. Yep, I'm the best. I'm just saying. So anyway, <laughs> so that is our grocery haul for this week. I'm under budget. We have lots of good stuff. Uh, we're going to be celebrating Thanksgiving, so stay tuned for all the videos that we're going to have in the coming days. We are going to come at you with a family Thanksgiving video that I hope you'll enjoy. And, of course, Friday is Frugal Family Food, and are we going to leave you hanging? No. No, we're not. Uh, we are not going to leave you hanging. <laughs> um, we are going to make sure you have some great videos this week to help you with your Thanksgiving leftovers. So my lovely friend Tangi at Freedom Homestead is going to have a video to help you use your ham leftovers. And I am going to have a video on Friday to help you use your turkey leftovers. And that way you guys can make use of everything that you have. So make sure you're back on our channels on Friday. And we will have those for you. And right now, if you guys are still trying to prepare for Thanksgiving, you're still not sure which recipes you're going to use, 
Don't forget to check out our Frugal Family Food Thanksgiving playlist. I will also link that along the top here. And you guys can check out the videos, all the great things that we have. We've got appetizers, main dishes, comfort sides, veggie sides, and desserts, everything that you need to be ready for Thanksgiving. So make sure you check those out. If you're still looking for ideas, we are there for you. And if you're not a member of the Frugal Family Food Facebook group, you need to be, and you can go to the link in the description box and go into the Frugal Family Food Facebook group. And there's over 50,000 people there now to help you if you have any issues uh, with any of your Thanksgiving holiday uh, things, if anything's happening. We've had every, last year we had people who uh, their oven broke and they had to try to figure out last minute ways how to make their turkey. If anything happens, if you have any Thanksgiving disaster, remember we're there, we're here for you. Just join the Frugal Family Food uh, Facebook group and we'll help you get through whatever your Thanksgiving issues are and try to encourage one another. So that's it. You all have a wonderful and happy Thanksgiving with your families. And uh, oh, and one more thing, we're going to be live tonight. We're going to be live tonight, Wednesday, with our Thanksgiving dinner. So come and hang out with us a little bit later. We are going to be live at 7 p.m. tonight, Wednesday night. Okay, if you're watching this on Wednesday, we're going to be live Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Normally it's Tuesday, but we're going out with our church for our church meal on Tuesday. So we're doing it on Wednesday this week. And you guys can hang out with us and we'll talk about Thanksgiving. So you all have a great, great day and I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it because there's way more details there. And uh, here over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by and we'll see you next time. Bye.